Hey there, what is up? Sean Terry here from flip2freedom.com and I want to talk to you today about the one small tweak that you can make in your business that will literally explode your business, 10x your business, triple your business. It'll, it'll just, it will, uh, it will um, blow it up, okay? And if you're looking to blow up your business, then this is something you can implement and you can do it right away. What up, what up? All right, so what is this small tweak? Well, I'm gonna show you real quick. My, uh, I'm in my office here. So check this out right here. So this, this is like, this is my conference table right here and we have our um, meetings here every single morning uh, not every single morning, every Monday morning but you see that that's a big uh, that's an 80 inch plasma and on that plasma is uh, as I have it basically plugged into my computer here if you can see but it uh, we have our scorecard up there okay now a scorecard is all the numbers the most important numbers to track in your business okay so, um, so let's talk about that scorecard and what, how important it is to you to be able to. All right, so scorecard. So the bottom line is, is there are key numbers, whether you're a newbie or a pro, that you can track on a annual basis, right? A quarterly basis and then a weekly basis. Now think about this and, and why it's so important that if you're not tracking numbers in your business, and it doesn't matter if you're a real estate agent, it doesn't matter if you're, uh, 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 you're, you're doing fix and flip houses, it doesn't matter if you're doing wholesale properties, whatever the case may be, the bottom line is, is you have to have a scorecard. And it's funny, um, you know, we were, uh, I was over at a, uh, a cousin's house and we were playing ping pong, right? Back and forth, you know, and you know, we were out there like family ping pong, right? And uh, we're doing ping pong, but imagine playing ping pong, right, with no score. You don't know if you won. Where do you get bragging rights if you don't score? Where, where, where is the like, I want to win, right? You know, imagine just hitting the ball back and forth and that, 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 you know, that's boring. You know, it's like my daughter, she's, uh, she plays tennis and she's, um, she's awesome. She's a phenomenal tennis player. Um, you know, she's been playing varsity since she was a freshman, just, just absolutely killing it. So, She's moving up her ranking up in the USTA right now. Um, so anyways, the bottom line is, is that when we go watch her play tennis, you know, they keep score, right? You know, it's it's like, you know, love, love, and then 15 love, you know, you know, then it's deuce, and then it goes, you know, add in, then it goes add out, then it goes back to deuce, and it's back and forth, and you're like on your seat going, holy cow, because it goes back to deuce like eight times. You know, and then they go into add in, boom, and she gets wins a shot. But imagine a sports game, whether it be tennis or ping pong or football or basketball. Imagine LeBron James, he's on the basketball court, he's dribbling down the court, he's doing, he's doing some shots and stuff, but there's no scoreboard. You know, how boring would that be, right? Watching, you know, guys just run up and down the court, they're making baskets, but no one's keeping score. It, the the entire audience everything would be you know it would it would be it would be you know everyone would be bored out of their mind right so the bottom line is is how can we take that competitive edge uh, that game and put it into business um, and the bottom line is is called using a scorecard so each you know now if you're a solopreneur let's say it's just you yourself and you and you're doing all the deals you're taking all the calls from sellers you're doing the marketing you're going on appointments you're getting contracts signed you're, you're doing everything yourself right um, you want to start implementing a uh, the ability to track your numbers so then when you start hiring on people then when you do hire on people then you will be able to implement that with your team so, you know, I'm looking at my scorecard right now, and if, you know, if, if the guys are just joining us right here, uh, saying here's our office table, this is where we have our meetings in the morning, um, and there's our 80 inch plasma. We put the scorecard up there, we put our, uh, we put our uh, podio up there, and we, everyone can see we go through our different properties. So let me, let, so what happens is, you know, think about this. So we're sitting around, you know, this table right here, and everyone's sitting around, we're going through our Monday morning meetings, and we're talking numbers. Right, and we're talking numbers. We're talking uh, in the in the middle here for in a second of what that is. But the bottom line is is that, for example, like uh, 
You know, Brandon, um, we start with him and his numbers. He looks at our pipeline revenue, our weekly revenue earnings of what we generated. So all the all the, the revenue that was for the last week that closed, he reports that, right? And then he then we report future weekly revenue. So what's – because we, we meet on Monday at 10 o'clock to 11.30. It's a 90-minute meeting. And he reports what's going to close for the current week, an accurate projection of what we have expected – in our pipeline to close for that week. Now, that allows me to manage cash flow in our business as we're pumping out money on marketing, as we're you know, you know, maybe buying properties or whatever we're doing. The bottom line is it allows us to be able to see that cash flow. So the next one is how many contracts. So we want to know how many actual physical closings do we have. We want to put a number to it. The next one is Jerry Beth, and she handles all of our incoming leads from all of our different sources. So they all come to her, right? And we and we manage everything through a, a system called CallRail. So each one of the lead sources is tracked with a specific number that goes in the call rail, and she answers the phones live Monday through Friday from nine to five. And then after hours, we have a person that answers live from 5.01 to 8 o'clock at night, because that's our highest call volume after those particular hours. And then on Saturday, they answer the phone. And what their specific job to do is to answer the calls and then book appointments, kind of vet the seller and uh, and get. So her, what's her numbers? Her numbers is how many leads do we get for that current week? Now, that is an incredibly important important number. So if you're brand new and you want to get started, right, and you want to generate revenue as quick as possible and you want to go out and do deals, the most important thing you can do is how many leads do you get? So I talked to a brand new guy and he goes, well, I've been getting up and going. I've been doing it for three months now and, you know, it's really not working. So then I go, okay, let me ask you a question. How many leads did you get last week? And guess what? It's like... You can't hear a thing. It's like crickets. How many leads did you get last week? Two. Okay, how many leads did you get the week before? Well, I didn't get any the week before. Well, well how, how, much you, how many leads did you get last month? Seven. Seven leads. Okay, so leads, the number of leads we get, is in direct proportion to the amount of revenue we produce. The amount of leads we get, the amount of... You cannot have a business, especially the business we're in, flipping houses, wholesaling houses, whatever, even, you know, whether, whether you're a real estate agent or whatever the case may be, you, you have to have leads coming in, right? So we got to do it. So you look at it and you go, okay, you know, for Jerry Beth, we want to know how many leads we had come into our system on a weekly basis. And guess what? That, that you, it, it fluctuates because some, some, some weeks we have, we get a boatload and some of it's a little smaller, but we want to average out and get a certain amount of leads. Now, and that's what we can control as marketers in our business. The next thing is, is, um, is how many contexts that she spoke, that she's spoken to. Um, so the bottom line is boom, baby. So, um, so her number, her, her, her overall number, now she reports on all these other small numbers. But the main number she gets recognition off is how many contacts she's spoken to. So she's got to hit between 85 and 100 a week. So we want her talking to 85 to 100 a week. Now, if she hits the minimum 85, then guess what? She gets to go then reach, and I'll show you, each of the guys get to go reach the bowl, right? So they get to go, they get to go reach in the bowl here. And that's like a little record, and uh, we call it a mini curiosity carrot. That's what we call it. It's like a mini curiosity carrot. So what's a carrot? A carrot's like a little thing that dangles, and you go, it's like, ah, I gotta get the carrot, right? And it's a mini curiosity carrot because in that bowl, there's uh, there's 60 inch plasmas, there's MacBook Pros, there's uh, Kindle Fires, there's uh, there's movie tickets, there's uh, dinner in movie, there's uh, uh, a day off, you know. Employees love that day off. Hey, I get, hey, I get a free day off. It's cool. Uh, so it's 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 a lot of little things, and it's some big things. So it's the curiosity they want to get in there, and it's the recognition. So that's Jerry Beth. So Nate, he reports on the amount of appointments he went on, the amount of offers he made, because offers is critical, um, and the amount of uh, uh, um, actually his number of contracts he got, and then his contract value. 
So how much? So, so if he got six contracts for the week, what was the total value of the contracts? And say it was okay, eighty thousand dollars. So that's that was that's that's what his that's what he gets uh, bonus off, and that's how he gets the reach in the bowl. Brandon deals with all our JV partners, right? That we have coming in, and he manages those. Um, so he's uh, he uh, reports on his numbers how many JV contracts um, that he has coming in. Then Falcon is our guy. All he does is manage the MLS, and he's making offers on the MLS. So his is how many contacts did he speak to and how many uh, contracts did he get? Those are his, his two main numbers and Chelsea is our CFO and she manages all the books and the numbers and she deals with the Flip to Freedom Academy stuff as well. So the bottom line is, is a scorecard is very, very important to keep, you know, keep you on track. When I implemented the scorecard, everything changed because we were just hustling a deal came in and this you know it was just hustling but there was really no score to it now we track all of our numbers how much marketing we do a week how many leads we get going in and we find that it's a direct the amount of leads the amount of marketing everything that's the direct proportion the exact amount of uh, of money which be, then becomes scalable um and you we track our cost per lead so the scorecard, obviously, we took and we developed it for our business. It can be modified and changed uh, for your business as well. But it's a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a killer thing. So I'm going to give you a scorecard that you can download for free if you so choose. I'm going to give you here, and I'm going to give the URL, right? And first off, there's what it looks like. Second off, there's what it is. So basically, it's my wholesaling scorecard. Um, so three reasons why you need this. Um, you'll know exactly where to stand in your business. Uh, it gives you 100% clarity on where you're going and what you can, how you can expect to get there. Because you have to reverse engineer where you want to go. So if you want to make a million dollars this year, you got to reverse engineer it down to the weekly lead. Okay, you know exactly why you're not hitting your goals and why you are, and you'll finally understand the correlation between marketing leads and revenue. Um, have your team accumulate a certain numbers makes the entire organization more productive when each team member um, has to report on specific numbers of productivity skyrockets. So you can get that here, right? So it's www, make sure you put the www dot in there, www.flip2freedom.com forward slash scorecard, www.flip, the number two freedom.com forward slash scorecard. You can get that for free. Um, and that's my scorecard there. And what it will do is you can download that. You can download it for free at www. Uh, right there at scorecard.com. Flip to freedom at scorecard. Um, and you can download that for free. But what that ba basically is, is my, um, let me go over here. It's my wholesaling scorecard right here. So that's that agent's plasma there. Um, so basically it's right here and we just, we just, uh, we just have our meetings right here. And if they hit their numbers, they get to reach in the bowl, um, and be able to, uh, to get some cool, cool stuff, which is, uh, which is, which is pretty cool. Um, also too, so if you go there, so yeah, so go check that out. You can download that at www.flip2freedom.com forward slash scorecard. You can download it uh, for free. Use it in your business. It's something that will change everything, right? And if you're a solopreneur, track the numbers yourself so you can do it. If you are a, uh, if you have a team of people, it's imperative, right? It's imperative. You need to incorporate that bowl idea. Yeah, it is. It's a, actually it's a great idea. I mean, it's. Uh, I mean, they love it. I mean, because here's the thing, is that especially when you have a team of people, um, is that when one person gets in the bowl, right, and they're excited, and you're like, hey, great job, bro. What'd you get? Oh man, I got a TV. Right, it's awesome. Um, and then everyone else doesn't, so everyone gets the recognition. Every the person gets the recognition for doing the right actions, and then the other one doesn't. So is this need to motivate my models to promote harder? Promote harder. You must be in a different industry. <laughs> models, models be cool too. Uh, but anyways, but the scorecard is, is something you can you, you can you can uh, you can use film. Okay, I got it. You're in the film industry. Cool. Well. Uh, I'm in the real estate business, but it works for any type of business to have some sort of um, tracking system uh, for your business, which is uh, which is incredibly important. So, um, all right, so that's it for today. Friday, have a phenomenal. Uh,
Cool, cool. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, have a phenomenal um, Memorial Day weekend. Make sure you guys uh, are safe. Uh, have a great time. And uh, also, here, check this out real quick. Um, I uh, We just launched our new uh, our site at flip to freedom uh, com www.flip to freedom by I got this killer web developer um, check this out so if you if you look at the screen right now it's a killer it's like a video background right there and check this out so it's a, it's a video background at flip to freedom com and these guys are sitting there walking across the thing it's like it's like really cool but uh, if you want to get my book too you can get it at uh, flip the number two freedom www.flip to freedom com flip to freedom com but uh, yeah we just um, we just redeveloped the site and uh, we put a video motion background with uh, people walking through it which is pretty cool so neat. So, uh, all right, guys, have a phenomenal weekend. Happy Friday. Uh, and I will talk to you next week um, for more insights, information. If you have any questions, uh, email, them, email, email, email them over if you can talk. Uh, and I'd be happy to answer them for you. So, all right, guys, God bless. Have a, a phenomenal weekend and uh, take care.